What's the biggest question you want to ask Ted Cruz? Uh, I think I would like to uh, ask him uh, just how much he's going to disrupt the tradition of the Senate and the rules. I like how he doesn't take tradition and uh, the rules and the, the, the uh, typical way of doing things uh, to heart. He just kind of moves along at his own pace. Senator Cruz, you're a very good, uh, excellent constitutionalist. How can we get Congress to go along with you? What can be done about the administration, the president, going around Congress and breaking the laws, mm -hmm. and what can we do about it? You could ask Senator Cruz a question, what would it be? Um, well, he's from Texas, so I kind of want to know what his team is, his football team is. Oh, welcome more. <laughs> yep, that's what I would assume, but I have to see, I have to ask and see. <laughs> Mr. Cruz, I'm in Boulder County, which is a hotbed of liberalism in Colorado. What lessons could you share with us to turn the tables and bring a conservative uh, viewpoint back into the forefront for such a liberal, uh, liberal area? Why does Ted Cruz connect with the younger conservative movement? You know what, I think that um, these, these new next generation of Republican senators, they really connect on a level where they can talk about the issues that pertain to our age group. I think he's got a reputation for telling the truth, which is something I think youth are really, there's a lot of lies and half-truths that we see in the media often, so I think it's something that we really connect with. He's a politician that doesn't just point out the issues, he gives us you know, what he's doing to uh, solve the issues. J.D., why does Ted Cruz connect with young voters? He doesn't have white hair. Because he cares about policies that will be effective in our lifetime. Mm -hmm. I think the future is very bright. I think we have a lot of rising stars in the movement. We have people like Ted Cruz. We have people like Scott Walker, who are guys who are going to mean what they say and say what they mean. And they're the kind of guys who really take on the issues that are important to our generation, like the debt, things that we own that we're going to have to face, illegal immigration. Um, you know, and they're guys who really have solutions to those problems, which is very attractive to young voters and a very, very great time to get involved and be, act and be active in the, in the fight for conservatism. Yeah. 